Let's talk about USB and Thunderbolt because not all ports are created equal. USB has gone through a lot of versions, so here's a quick breakdown of common ones that you might find. USB 2.0 maxes out at 480 megabits per second, which is way too slow for any media work. USB 3.0 and 3.1 go up to 5 gigabits per second, or about 625 megabytes per second, which is significantly faster, but still a touch slow for video work. USB 3.2 Gen 2 hits 10 gigabits per second or 1250 megabytes per second, which is certainly quick enough for video work. And USB 3.2 Gen 2 times 2 doubles that to 20 gigabits per second, which is blazing fast. Then there's the introduction of Thunderbolt and USB-C ports. Thunderbolts 1 and 2 were Apple focused and capped at 10 to 20 gigabits per second. Thunderbolt 3 changed the game with a max speed of 40 gigabits per second, plus power and video all through USB-C. Thunderbolt 4 maintained that 40 gigabits per second speed, but improved consistency. And now, Thunderbolt 5 is emerging, pushing that up to 80 gigabits per second. And yes, USB-C is just the connector shape. It can carry both USB and Thunderbolt signals. USB-A on the other hand is older and doesn't support the fastest speeds of Thunderbolt. If you're buying a new drive, go USB-C or Thunderbolt for future proofing. I'm sorry, I know this is all very confusing and please let me know in the comments if I made any mistakes.